Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening once again. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the Exynos chipset model, and I was getting a message that the Evolution X official ROM is released for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Those who like to have AOSP ROM, and if that official, then they will definitely install it on the mobile phone. So this is Evolution X. This one is the official release from the Evolution X team. The Evolution X version is 11.1. This ROM is coming with the Android 16 and PeaceBand version provided build number. If you can see that the mobile that I got is having 12 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. Well, the Evolution X ROM always comes with the modifications. If you want to modify the ROM, you can come to the settings, tap the Evolver here and bunch of modifications provided is coming with the ROM the way you like you can modify the ROM because they are providing a huge list of modifications here. Come check it out. Whatever options you like, turn it on and turn it off. With this ROM, the face unlocking is working and the in-display fingerprint scanner is also working. Definitely, you will see the battery timing will get good, better and better because this Evolution X ROM is well optimized. Well, this ROM is getting the latest QS panel which is coming with the Google Pixel devices officially the latest QS panel of the Android 16. And if you want to edit, just tap the edit button here and you can remove and you can add the tiles which are provided. You can see that there are many, many tiles provided in this list and all the tiles that you can see on the mobile phone working perfectly. The ROM is actually not device certified if you want to make the device certified then we have to root the rom so the rom is not rooted yet so you can see that all the banking applications are working fine if i root the rom to get the strong integrity or if i if i want to make the device certified then definitely after rooting the rom the banking applications will have issues well right now the all the banking applications that I have downloaded working fine with this ROM. Well, those who like to have uh, the speed, those who like to have performance and those who like to have a good battery, definitely go for this Evolution X ROM, which is actually official release. Yes, the ROM is coming with the Google Dialer and with the Google Messages application. So the Evolution X ROM is coming with the caps. I mean to say Google applications. After flushing the ROM, there is no need to install the caps separately. This Evolution X ROM coming with the two camera applications that you can see on the mobile phone. Both are AOSP camera and uh, both cameras are working fine with the rear camera and with the front camera. Yes, we can take pictures and we can record videos. Well, this ROM is coming with the pre-default basic call recorder applications after turning on the call recording option over here all the calls will get recorded automatically either if the incoming calls or the outgoing calls the bluetooth connectivity is working calling is working network is working yes and uh, i could not find any bugs yet those who like to have aosp rom and those who want to have this Evolution X official ROM on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, watch the further video. Getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed it yet, click the bell icon, click the select all. Thank you. So all the links are provided in my video description. Click the link and this official website of the Evolution X will get open. Check that the Android 16 is already selected. Then click the how to install and then download the recovery.img file by clicking on this link. And after that, click the Evolution X ROM link to start downloading the Evolution X 16.0, which is actually 11.1 and this is official one. So here is my downloaded folder where I have downloaded all the files. Now, first of all, I would like to thanks to the developer of the Eternity ROM who provided the TWRP origin pack in TAR format. Yes, we have to flash the origin pack TWRP first. Then I will flash the provided official recovery of the 
evolution x yes we have to flash the evolution x rom with the provided evolution x recovery Odin link is available in the play farm tools link are also available download these two files also now first of all extract the Odin 3.14.1 then extract the play farm tools in same folder and then copy the rom file from the downloaded folder open the extracted folder of the play farm tools and paste the rom file over here when done then rename the newly copied rom file by selecting the file then press f2 and just give a name rom the file name is supposed to be rom.zip press enter key now go back and open the Odin 3.14.1 extracted folder. Then double click the Odin file to open the Odin. While click OK on this pop up window. Then on the Odin, you can click any slot. But I will go for the AP slot and I will go to my downloaded folder. Then I will double click to select the TWRP Odin Bag N975F, which is the model number of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Double click to select this file. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. Just in case, if your mobile phone is having a lock bootloader, then you need to unlock the bootloader first. With a lock bootloader, yes, we cannot install any custom ROM. Check the mobile phone battery. It's supposed to be charged. In case if the mobile phone battery is lower than 30%, then charge the mobile phone battery. And save all the internal storage data because the data will get format. Go to settings. Then go to security and turn off the screen lock by selecting swipe. Turn, then go back then go to the password passkey and sync your Gmail account if you want, then remove it to avoid issues. When done, then you can simply power off the mobile phone. For charging the mobile phone and for flashing any ROM file, always use a good quality of data cable. Now you need to check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Make sure that mobile phone is supposed to be totally power off. Now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. In few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys, right? Now on this screen, press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. This is the Odin mode screen. The KG state you can see on my Odin mode screen is showing checking. In case if the KG state shows pre-normal, then the recovery will not get flash. It is supposed to show checking. The phone is connected with the computer and booted already into Odin mode. Well, the Odin also detected my mobile phone because I have installed the Samsung Android USB driver already on my Windows link provided in case if you have not then download the file and install it on the odin click options and tick the auto reboot then go back to lock and then click start to start flushing the odin pack recovery file of the twrp when done you will see pass message then exit the odin click back to go to the downloaded folder the mobile phone is supposed to be still booted into odin mode we have to boot the mobile phone manually to the TWRP recovery from the Odin mode screen. For that, make sure to press the buttons properly, right? Press and hold, but make sure the data cable is connected with the mobile phone and also the other side of the cable must be connected with computer. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, power key. When mobile phone restart, then first release the volume down key. Okay, done. When mobile phone shows Samsung logo, then release the power key. Okay, turn. Just wait for a few seconds. And release the volume up key. Definitely the mobile phone will boot into TWRP. Here we go. The recovery screen got appears on my mobile phone. Swipe to allow modifications, right? Then tap wipe and tap format data type y e s tap here when done go back to main screen tap reboot and tap recovery swipe to allow modifications the internal storage will get appears on the computer screen go to the downloaded folder and copy the recovery file from the downloaded folder the official evolution x recovery file right 
copy it from the downloaded folder and then go back to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste the file on the internal storage. Recovery file got copied. Now on the mobile phone screen, tap install. Then tap install image here and select the recovery.img file by tapping on it. Scroll down, select recovery by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing. You will see done, then go back to the main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. Doesn't matter if the mobile phone showing no operating system installed, just swipe. So this time the mobile phone will boot into Evolution X official recovery. I got the recovery screen, right? Now first of all, tap factory reset, then tap factory data reset, format data, turn, go back, tap apply update, tap apply from ADB. Come back to the computer screen, open the extracted folder of the platform tools, right click on the cmd.exe, then left click on the run as administrator. Click yes on the next pop-up window, the command window will get open. Simply start flushing the file by typing a command adb space sideload space rom.zip press enter key. The file will start getting transferring to the mobile phone and it will get flash also. We have to wait here. ROM flashing turn and definitely you will see install completed with status 0. Well reboot system now is already selected just tap on it. Now you can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone. Wait the mobile phone will definitely start booting to the official evolution X ROM and I will close the command window when I am done from the computer. First boot completed, complete the setup screen. So I got the ROM and flashing got done very smoothly. The latest QS panel and I will go to settings. Then we we'll go to about phone and tapping the invite 16. So this is the Evolution X version is 11.1 .1 invite 16. Peace band version provided, build number you can see that. Thank you for watching. Take a good care of yourself. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.